Hey guys, welcome again. In this video, you will learn how to send Facebook leads to any other application automatically using API by Pavli Connect. So guys, if you're using Facebook for generating leads for your business, you already know how important it is to keep your leads data managed and organized. And generally, you need to manually download the data from Facebook lead ads and take it to any other application like Google Sheets or to your CRM or sending it to your sales team via emails or any other application, okay? So this manual process is really time taking and problematic. So we have an automation for you, which is which allow you to take your leads data to, to be sent to any other application by API by Pabli Connect feature, okay? So here I'm going to show you a demo how API by Pabli Connect works and how you can use it to send Facebook leads to any other application. So let's begin. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations, okay? So guys, sign up right now from the given link and after that you can sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard like this. From here, you can click on this create workflow button to create your workflow and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So here I have given this name. Now I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. All right. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules the trigger and the action. These are the basic building blocks of the automation trigger guys is that event which starts the workflow. So here it is. So it is saying when this happens. Okay. And the action is the automated response of the trigger. So it is sh sh uh, showing here do this. All right. So in our uh, use case, we want that whenever we uh, get a new lead via Facebook lead ads, this workflow should trigger and send the leads data to any other application. So Facebook will be our trigger application. Okay, so search for Facebook lead ads here. Okay, and select it. Then select the trigger event as new lead instant. Okay, now click on connect connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Okay, so if you are already logged in like me, it will be connected. Otherwise, it might bring you to the login window of Facebook. Okay. Here you need to select your pages name and your lead generation forms name. Okay. So guys on your Facebook page, you can run Facebook ads and on those lead ads, you can attach a lead generation form. Okay. So when the, when any lead is going to fill that form, you are going to generate a lead. So first of all, you need to open the Facebook lead generation. So Facebook lead ad tool testing tool from there you need to generate a test lead okay but before this let me show you my facebook page here you can see guys so this is my facebook page named as pabli okay and here is facebook lead ad testing tool you can see and from this lead ad testing tool tool you can see you can select your page from this list and then you can select the attached form here okay so i have these many forms inside this page okay so here I'm selecting this one test lead form and by clicking on this preview form, you can actually see the form uh, attached with the page. Okay, here is the here is the form attached with the lead ad and here these, these are the things I'm asking from the lead. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select the page first from this list. The name of the page is Pavli and the lead generation forms name is uh, this one you can see test lead form so let me I have selected the page now let me select the test lead form okay right and now when you click on save and send test request button it will start showing waiting for the response and here you can read please ensure that your lead generation form is live okay uh, else you might not receive the lead data correctly so make sure that your lead generation form is live on your page. Then you can click on save and send test request button. And you can see it started showing waiting for the Webhooks response. 
now let me open the testing tool from here i am opening the form by clicking on preview form so here it is asking for these de details so let me select the options okay let me fill the name first name is dummy last name is name okay this is the email address then you have to fill a phone number then click on next button and then click on submit all right so a test lead has been generated you can see test lead has been sent now let's see in the workflow if we got the data capture of the test lead and here you can see we have received the same data right here the gender is female the city is mumbai the name is dummy name the email address everything got captured here so after uh, receiving the test data of the lead uh, come to the action step and here I am going to use API by Pabli connect feature. So here is API by Pabli just select it from here. Then you have to select the action event here as post. Okay. Because we want to send the data using API by Pabli. So use the action event post and here it will ask for the endpoint URL. So here you have to enter the endpoint URL or the webhook URL of any external application. So webhook URL is a universal resource locator used to send data between two applications. Okay, so it's a medium by which two different applications communicate. So you can just search for webhook URL inside your desired application like from any CRM you can pick it you uh, inside the documentation you can find it or in the settings you can find it and you have to fill the url here for the demo purpose i am opening a different workflow and i am using here you can see i have created a different workflow and here in the trigger i have connected webhook by pabli feature okay so by using webhook by pabli you can get a webhook url like this okay so when you copy this webhook URL and paste it here in the endpoint URL field here, you can transfer the data from one workflow to the different workflow. Okay, so I'm showing you the demo using two workflows. You can use it in between two applications as well. Okay, so here uh, when you got the data, just copy the webhook URL and then it will start showing uh, waiting for the response here like this okay now paste the webhook url here in the endpoint field like this okay then select the payload type as json here guys it will ask to add headers or set parameters so check this set parameters box and it will show you a pair of label and a value so here you can create labels for sending customized data that you got from your trigger to any other application. Let's say guys that uh, you have received the data like this. You can see uh, we have gender, city, first name, last name and email. So if you want to send a particular data, you can create the labels here to send the data. So I'm creating the labels. I'm uh, entering here the labels name as let's say full name. Okay. Then click on this plus uh, sign here and another label and value pair will appear like this. Here I want to send the email address. So I'm entering email. Third thing I want to send is the gender details. So I'm selecting, I'm adding the third label as gender. Okay. And in the values fields, I'm going to map the values coming from Facebook lead ads in the trigger. So here we have received the data. Now, I, if you now if you want to map the data here, you just have to click here on the value field like this and the previous step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find the data right here. So by clicking on the labels like this, you can map the uh, data. So I'm mapping the full name here, then map the email address. Okay, and in the third label, third value, map the gender okay right so i have entered the endpoint url here and you can see in the second workflow it's waiting for the webhooks response now let me click on save and send test request button and this data will be sent here and will be received here 
in the response section. Let me just show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And this is the response I got. It is showing the message response accepted. Let's check in our second workflow. And here you can see we have received the response as this. The full name is here, the email is here, and the gender is here. And these are the same three labels I have sent it using API by Pabli Connect feature. So this is how you can send the data from one workflow to the other or from your workflow to any other application using API by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect. And guys, if you want to send this data, the data of these uh, labels to any other application, you can just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up. Here you can connect with any other application uh, like your CRM. You can just search for your CRM like this, HubSpot CRM. And now you can map these same labels that you have that you have created here in this action step and the same data will be sent to any other application. And I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can use this same workflow, workflow by cloning it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.